Hey, good morning, everybody in public relations. There are a slew of you. What do I mean by a slew? I think there's 21 of my favorite returning students. So welcome to public relations this month. I think this is a, a great, great class, and I know you're going to love it. Why? Because what we're doing is we're completing the other side of new media marketing. We're finishing up and actually looking at not only the other side, but, but really the whole picture of the Earn Media Channel. So remember what we're doing is we're taking a newsworthy event and then we want other people to tell our story. And we're going to talk about how, how we do that and we're going to get into understanding what a newsworthy event is and, and then how do we get that story out. Now, ultimately, we will end up probably talking about some uh, paid forms of promotion when we start talking distribution or rather than, than just distribution, looking at how we can take the content that we create in the newsworthy event portion of the, the class, which is week two, and how can we take that and, and build a complete campaign around it. So the campaign may, not, may involve not only uh, earn media, but also paid media too. So some interesting things to think about. We'll give you a great example for that, uh, which is actually Budweiser, uh, Anheuser-Busch, InBev. Uh, we will talk about how they uh, dealt with the fact that uh, beer sales were diminishing for millennials. And what they did in order to uh, correct that problem was they created a newsworthy event. Was it a real event? No, it was actually a pseudo event. It was something that, that they decided that they could create and make happen. So uh, we'll talk about, when we talk about events, we'll talk about real newsworthy events and pseudo events. And just a hint, almost everything is pseudo. What, what is a real event? Well, we just had Hurricane Laura hit the, uh, the, the uh, Louisiana coast. That was a real event. All right, week one, we're gonna talk about one of the most important things for anybody in marketing or public relations, and that is monitoring your environment. Uh, and then I also want you to be able to really succinctly explain the context of your strategic organization. So you're gonna have to think about the strategic elements and then share those with us, and then also set up a monitoring system and, and tell us what you're learning from the monitoring system. The monitoring system is important because you need to be aware of uh, information that will help you do three things. One is uh, mitigate a crisis. Two is provide content that, that you can curate and share so that you're constantly engaging with your audience. And, no, and number three is you want to spot great ideas for newsworthy events. In essence, what we're doing in public relations is we're trying to influence and crystallize opinion in our, our publics. So we'll get into more of the details as we go, but I just wanted to say good morning and welcome to Public Relations. It's gonna be a great month. Remember my phone number, 407-267-8600. That's how you get in touch with me. So until we talk again, have a great week. I'll be finishing up uh, the uh, August month's class probably today. Uh, so it won't really be till tomorrow when we get started. Please try and make the, uh, the Zoom meeting. Uh, I give so much more information in the Zoom meeting uh, and you'll get so much more out of the class. If at the very least, make sure you watch the archives. Okay, this is Dr. John. Have a great month.